Oh, Rim Rims. I didn't see you come in. Welcome to my base and welcome to my Arcotech structure. If you stare at it for too long, you'll start being able to taste sound. And we have Dub's Bad Hygiene installed. So there are some sounds you really don't want to taste. Now, I've thought long and hard about this and I've decided I hate nature. We're going to become arms dealers now, which I think is the only possible sensible outcome from hating trees. So I had roughly 40 to 50 million comments on yesterday's episode about you're interested in me becoming an arms dealer. And with my affiliate link below, you can get 10% off your first neurotoxin shipment. Okay, but a lot of people did actually link me to a mod that I've forgotten the name of because I am a professional like that. Ah, there it is. XND Profitable Weapons. And this mod is a very, very cool way of fixing the problem of weapons in Rimworld not being profitable. As I said before, they only sell for 20% of their market value because you get a lot of them at the end of every raid. Otherwise, every raid would have more and more value without actually much more tangible value to the colony. And then the next raid would be even harder and then harder and then you'd die. Unless you were incredibly good at this game like me. So what XND Profitable Weapons does is that it changes it so... Weapons dropped by raiders have essentially a tainted stat similar to apparel. They gain a little U on their on their weapon title showing that they were used. Those weapons follow the regular Rimworld weapon rules in that they only sell for 20%. But weapons that we craft, fresh, pristine charge rifles straight off the assembly line, those will sell for as much as they are actually worth. And there is something quite interesting about being a nature-loving raiding faction that wants to help fuel humanity wiping out itself through the medium of extremely overpowered weapons and caravanning's been a big feature moving across the map starting new bases i think it all it all it all kind of works together so not only will we will raid for resources i think going for the mining camps logging camps whatever raid for resources turn those resources into weapons and go and give a bunch of tribal nations high power charge weaponry ah colonialism and then there's something about them fighting each other and we taking their land but that's a mod that i'm not entirely sure exists right now oh and speaking of colonialism it's the it's starlight's ex-husband andronos <gasps> he's the tribute collector Oh my god, what a fucking look this guy's got going on, eh? And they've apparently bought their pet Tyranid, which that man has decided to ride on. <sighs> Why did I open my mouth? <laughs> now I await the many comments asking for a 40k series. So along with fueling an incredible amount of weapons production, I guess our goal today then should be just deep drills in general, right? I brought this up yesterday in that our lack of mountains on this map is really going to be an issue, given that we've already strip mined... Well, every mountain on the map, right? We've got a few more minerals to... Well, maybe not that one. That was a bad example. We've got a few more minerals hanging around in the side of the mountains here to uh, extract. But other than that, this is it. This is all we've got to work with until we actually get the deep drills. Or we embrace our raider side of things and obviously go and raid mining camps. Oh, and to supplement our raiding and weapons manufacturing ways, I've also added a mod called Weight Price. It's quite simply Weight Price. All it does is add to the category screen when you're forming a caravan or selling items a weight over price so you can figure out what's the most valuable thing to actually go up caravanning with oh <gasps> a free lima oh wait animal names <laughs> i really don't know what i expected two episodes ago i wanted to give it more than a full day just so that everybody got a chance to submit an animal name and, and kind of vote what they wanted to see i don't really know what i expected here but i did ask for animal names from the comment section so the incredible inspired and most upvoted animal names comment is um well, very straightforward. Thank you, Reese Hart, for these incredible suggestions. We have Joris, Boris, Morris. They've suggested Frank. However, we've already got a polar bear called Meatloaf. And I think Joris, Boris, Morris, and Meatloaf is even better still. Poor brain-damaged Meatloaf. <laughs> I'll help you. Hang on. Do we not have a healer? Ah, oh, the healer serum was in the old base. I, I was genuinely going to use it on you, Meatloaf, but... Just hang on. We'll have to keep a very close eye on Meatloaf's health, otherwise he might be gone when the morning comes. Fuck, <laughs> knock it, that's it. That's, that's a retirement joke right there. Oh, and we also have an elephant called Lorax because he speaks for the trees. And someone needs to speak for these friggin' trees because I'm one bad day off of burning down the whole fucking forest. Now, my first idea, and I definitely didn't steal this from a comment I saw on yesterday's episode, why don't we head out and raid our own previous settlements? So we've got one up here, which is now called Anteater's Township, which I absolutely despise and then our other one is over here right hadera if we could raid them enough so that we destroy them entirely i think that would be quite nice we will need way more numbers i'm not i'm not willing to risk the only five people we've got doing 
fairly dangerous raids on the other side of the planet, given that if we send an Otto by himself, given what he's wearing right now, probably won't last five minutes. So let's gear up for war, and then any extra that we've got left over, we'll sell. Oh my god, Lanath, run! <laughs> Holy shit! Uh, Lanath, incapable of violent, uh, so her options are to run or to lie down and die. Skinwalker! Ah. Okay. Uh, that also would be a problem for raids. We really need to take that door off in hindsight. Well, thank you, Jaguar, for finding a fairly obvious problem in my defenses. Hey, Otto, you can get rid of this. Ah! Was that the polar bear? <gasps> Boris. Boris, the revenge. Outlanders have arrived to venerate the skull of Ohm. If you ensure they are safe and respected while they visit the ancient relic, they may offer you a reward. Oh. Are they going to... They're not going to fuck with it at all, are they? They're not going to do what we did and turn up and start blasting so they can steal it, I hope. Just a little bit of security as standard. You know, like any good museum would have. They've finished venerating the skull of Ohm and are now leaving. That was it. Whoa. I assume, then, that people can turn up and actually be traitorous about it. Now, how are we doing for stealing components? At the end of yesterday, Starlight and Skinwalker both ended up with sleeping sickness. We've got plenty of components. And it's, what, 50 steel? Yeah, all right. I guess I can I guess I can stretch to that. Should we just go massive early on? Fabrication of arms, fabrication, manufacturing. That would be, that'd be a pretty good way to kick things off. It is 14,000 research, though, so... This could take a little while. We do have grand penetrating scanners now, so we can start work on at least amassing a bunch of wealth so that the raiders come and kill us a lot sooner. Now, one thing I noticed fairly quickly is the Arco structure gives a negative mood as you go near it. We knew that already because the whole screaming thing. What I didn't realize is its radius is much further beyond the kind of visual effect it's got going on here. It's driving our people mad, but they're also closer to the Arco Nexus, so... Uh, deal with it, basically. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go throw one of these right there. And then I'm sure I'll complain in 10 minutes time when they're all killing one another and slaughtering the animals. And we do have a lot of good researchers, so this should put in some very, very, very good work for us. Priority 3? Have we got anything below Priority 3? No. I think scanning as a backup job is pretty good. And in fact, I mean, who's our worst scanner there? 5 skill. 5 skill still isn't terrible. I'll take Starlight off entirely. It probably wouldn't hurt building another Grand Penetrating Scanner. We have a load of advanced components, right? We've got 15 of the fucking things. I mean, as long as we've got the power. Oh, which we which we don't. Oh, Bog Goods Trader, what have you bought with you? We've got Caravan from the Interlandals packed, and we've also got Manhunting Gorillas. <laughs> we've gone too far. It's Planet of the Apes now. Ah, Otto, we're not using a shotgun. I couldn't name a more iconic duo. You know, that really doesn't give us much room between us and Monkey. Oh, no. Well, six blocks of swamp are between our people and getting their face ripped off. Well, I mean that and Otto. Six blocks of swamp and a thousand blocks of Otto at this point. Well, all right, never mind. And you know what really helps with uh, sleep accelerators? This is a pretty high tier Rimworld secret that they don't tell you in the tutorial. You have to connect them to power. Otherwise, they don't actually accelerate sleep. Oh, Coronet, what have you done? We've got ourselves a free wild pod, but at the cost of the storyteller changing it away from Phoebe Chillax to Perry. Okay, Perry's fine. It's not Igor, more importantly. I don't mind fighting Igor after we've got an economy going. Maybe a little bit of a kill box or something like that before we have to fight wave after wave after wave after wave of pirates. Ah, my favorite quest. Um, yeah. Yeah, you're not wrong. I love that when I say we'll embrace our inner raider and try and go for all the mining sites, we've had farming, farming, and hunting. What's this one here? Oh, that's about the Arcotech. We've got one quest for that, another for a uh, spacecraft data hack. Do they do they stack? So if we have two reliquaries in the same room, is will that give all rituals a plus six mood bonus? Because if that's the case, that would be gigantic. There's an ancient complex a long distance away. We need to supply four colonists. Oh wow. So it'd be Otto Poopy. We'd have to send Otto Poopy Starlight Skinwalker. They're only four capable of combat. What's got a data hack as well? I would love to get the second one. Fuck it. Let's do it. Let's go for it. Why not? Where's it landing? It's normally near the map edge, isn't it? Okay, that's not terrible. My god, we couldn't even build one freaking wall. You people are terrible. We've got the Southwest. Wait, the Southwest SN Torero. The people what? The people that bought our last base? I could have sworn I allied to them. Did I attack them again immediately? That does sound very on brand. Oh, no. Aranek. 
Probably a mime. I'm going to say welcome aboard. Aranek the barkeeper. Oh, Aranek, you've spawned in a terrible place, my friend. He's got incredible social. Okay, cooking. You know what? That's a job that we can pass over to you rather than Otto. I know he's terrible at it for now. Double passion means that we don't really have to worry about it too much in the long term. And he's only on simple meals. That's a job that we can... Oh. I suppose we take the way from Skinwalker makes Skinwalker top priority research or scanning. The top priority scanning. That's a weird one. Okay, you know what? I can fuck with that. That is a job freed up for Otto, though. That's the important thing. Here you are, my friend. Welcome to the colony. Otto, how long does it take to build a single wall? This is ridiculous. Well, Chloro Dryer 2 is already dead. That's fantastic. I mean, look. It could have been one of our people, so I won't complain too much. Oh, and Ia just gave us a very convenient shield generator. Thank you. Well, that is the first wave dealt with. We've got Ophelia as the only survivor. Mad Surgeon, Unhygienic, Slowpoke. I think I'm okay. Oh, Asher as well. 12 animals, double passion. Industrious, volatile. Oh, industrious is good. Volatile is... Global certainty loss factor times 300%. Yikes. Industrious is fantastic enough that I think I'll recruit you. Oh, what, as a cook though? Ugh. We've got too many cooks. You know what they say about that? They're shit. Too many, too many cooks is shit. Or at least I... Well, something like that. Besides that, though, Poopy lost an ear. Okay, not really a big deal. The sleeping sickness also needs tending, but that's okay. No, we're fine. We're good. Okay, we're over halfway there. I think we'll still only have to fight the two waves. And speak of the devil. Hey, it's the Southwest SN Torera. Who could have possibly seen that one coming? Well, they're a bit more well-armed this time. Okay. The Skinwalker is down. Poopy is not doing so well. Uh, Otto, please kill. Please kill Amanda. Or kill anybody, for fuck's sake. Poopy, save Skinwalker. Are you okay? Uh, no. No, you're not. you're not. You haven't lost anything, but you're not doing too well. I think at this point, it's probably safe to undraft everybody. Get them home. Skinwalker cannot walk. Well, I guess it's time for a rename for you then. And there we go. Quest complete. Fanta What's that dryad doing? Hello? So when everybody's patched up, I think I'll send Starlight, Skinwalker, Poopy, and Aranek, the barkeep. I've given him twin volcanic pistols. I was going to bring him as a bit of a bit of support there, but we didn't need him. Oh, my God. Perry. Oh, my fucking Lord. It's Rimguai. Well, <laughs> this is going to be a laugh then. I hope you had fun fighting off waves and waves of invaders. Here's a bunch of mutated bears for you to deal with. Oh, well, thanks, Perry. Yeah, no, that's... uh. It's really kind of you. Oh, Aranek. Is he going to make it in in time? If you stop firing, you might. Oh. Wait, what? I turned off running gun and he felt like standing still for a while. Well, fuck me. Oh, it's the asthma. <laughs> Asthmatic man frantically running away from 15 mutant bears. <laughs> Whoops, my mistake. <laughs> Otto! Are you fucking joking? I just got him to re-equip those weapons and he's taking them off again. I feel like fully automatic is a misnomer. Sometimes automatic when he fucking feels like it. Offhand. He won't do it anymore. What the hell? What? Equip Derringer. Equip offhand. Well, it's a bit late now because the fucking bears are there. Okay, okay. Otto, start walking. Okay. Fine, fine. Lima distraction. I like it. Fire. Otto, I fucking hate you. Why did he do that? I could fire my super fast firing shotgun or I could take two steps forward. You are a fucking idiot and I hate you. Is he on, he's on a, he's dropped his shotgun. No, he's still got it. He's still got it. It's okay. I see on the side I'm saying I'm about to. I'm going to have a breakdown. I'm going to have a breakdown. Fire. That's all you had to do. Putting the way the colony shoulders on a lemur and poopy, who's once again dying. <laughs> what a terrible day to be poopy. Who's our doctor? Uh, Dr. No one. Uh, Dr. Lanath. I'm going to get you to tend to Aranek before he horribly, horribly dies. And then poopy, I'm going to throw you at Dr. Skinwalker. What do you mean Skinwalker's not a doctor? She is now. What? That said fucking four hours left. What the fuck do you mean? Oh, I know. That shouldn't have done it. Blood loss dropped down enough that the asthma 
killed him. Almost certainly. So when it said three hours left, that assumes that he wasn't already affected by another condition. That's... <laughs> We're doomed. We are, we are genuinely doomed to only play with... Please don't tell me you're tending the fucking Claude Dryad rather than... Are you having a laugh? Oh, you're okay. You're fine. Oh, my God. I think I've been as on edge for potentially winning a uh, a series with an actual proper end goal in quite some time. I feel like we're so, so close, but we couldn't be any fucking further away. We we're limited to five people. Whenever I get a sixth person, they die. Who would have possibly guessed that an asthmatic wasn't able to outrun a bunch of grizzly bears? Another one for the Grove. Thank you, Aranek. I sure hope he didn't equip any of our good stuff. But look, he wasn't a mime. So we know now that the Wanderer Joins event probably isn't limited to mimes anymore. Skinwalker, what are you doing? Wandering? Why? You haven't got any arms? No. What are you doing? She's just walking around. What? Why? Scan! And then she stops. What? Can you not work near the... Oh, my God. Can you not work near the architect's structure? Oh, wait. Oh, oh, what? 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 Skinwalker. Skinwalker. Research. Okay. Go fucking research. She's consuming simple meal. Okay. So she can't scan. Oh, my God. Can you not scan near the archo structure? Because if that's the case, we just wasted a shitload of advanced components. Oh, you son of a bitch. Nope, you can't work near it. Oh, I quit. Okay, take those apart then. Haha, <laughs> silly me, forgot I said anything. I guess in that case, we'll... I guess in that case, we'll unroof this and we'll build them out here instead. Oh, but on the plus side, there's fabrication complete. Oh, that's fantastic. Very ups and downs in this colony, isn't it? Right, let's move this down here and a free rhino. <laughs> ah, you know what? You could be Morris. Hello, Morris. I'm not sure I'd feel better or worse knowing that the priest turned up to my funeral naked. Well, I mean, I probably wouldn't feel anything. I'm dead. Uh, terrible. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Minus three mood for six days. Brilliant. There was 68% chance, by the way. 68% chance for average, not for terrible. Otherwise, I wouldn't have done it. Bree, I'll be honest right now. I'm not sure you really want to be rescued, given that the other two sixth members of the colonies are, um, here and here. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you? Then maybe I'll make a decision. Well, you're not that far away. We do have to cross the treacherous green pond mountains. But I can also get a shitty little goblin out of it. Otto, pack your things. Otto and Jaeger. Name a more iconic duo. Oh, steel. Fantastic. We just ran out of that. Arcadius, what a guy. Uh, Yeah, I can't rebuild the ground penetrating scanner away from the Arco Nexus because we don't have enough steel. Classic Rimworld. Oh, hello, Bree. Unfortunately for you, I did send one of our only few colonists with absolutely no medical skills. No. Oh. oh, it was an ambush. Uh, it's two frost mites. Okay, then. <laughs> I don't know what I expected, but that really wasn't it. Don't worry, Bree. We're here to patch it. Oh, we bought medicine. Otto. Way ahead of me. You have rescued Bree. And she has joined your group. Is she any good, though? Incapable of violent. Oh, my God. Social double passion. We've got so many social characters now. Ocean lover. We live in a forest. Stoner. Lazy. Oh, no. Bree, uh, her injuries were too great. We couldn't save her. Oh, that is a real shame. Okay. Turns out it wasn't the Arco structure. It's Skinwalker being a moron. Why can't you... What if I prioritize it? What? So scanning is broken. No, scanning isn't broken because someone's fucking scanned. Is it just Skinwalker? Okay, so Skinwalker is broken. Why? What is wrong with you? What am I missing here? Submissive, two kind... Clear instructions on what to do. I mean, that, should, that only affects working speed. I'm so confused. Well, the debug log has uh, definitely cleared that one up. Thank you. I guess in conclusion, it doesn't matter. We just wasted hundreds of steel moving those when it 
had absolutely no impact. Fine. Uh, we'll just take off of scanning. Should solve the problem. Oh, a space battle. Oh, this could be huge. I mean, they probably tend to be. Not only will we get a lot of resources from this, but there's a potential for a sixth colonist, dare I say it. Maybe this time we'll just skip over six and go straight to seven. Okay. So let's take Dr. Poopy. No pressure, Dr. Poopy, but you could be crushed to death here. Let's get near the debris. And then there's a potential that any survivors, we might be able to rush out there and grab fast. Look up there, Slice Around. Slice Around, are you any good? Plants 11, double passion. Intellectual 12, double passion. Squeamish and anxious. You know what? At this point, I'll take it. Poopy, please be careful. Okay, got him. Got him. Get him out of there. Get them out of there. And then also get you out of there too, if that's okay. Oh, now also worth mentioning, we're not obligate cannibals anymore, but we are okay with eating human meat. There's also a... Ramsey? Um, psychically hypersensitive and depressive. I think I'm okay. 10 autistic, double passion. Nah, we're okay. Just because we're not getting people doesn't mean we should take any old shit. The space battle is ending. Okay, well, let's see if you are willing to join us by yourself. If not, we'll give them a little bit of encouragement. Oh, and people have done labor. Well, we'll just put them in the farm. Marine helmet won by skinwalker deteriorated. Well, look, it's not going to be long until we've got manufacturing, right? 5,553. We do have advanced fabrication unlocked, so we can now make our advanced components. Not that we really need them, to be honest. I know what we could do with you. We don't really need the plant skill. Bear in mind, Starlight is incredible at that, and is basically only doing plant skill anyway. We could make you our head researcher. Bear in mind that one of Skinwalker's only jobs is researching, but she's also our warden, and her social skill is incredible, so I can't really give it to her. But you would be a, a pretty good use of that, I think. The true truth, Pastafarianism. Oh, you know what? Yeah, I mean, we do... We do need to convert you. <laughs> what am I looking at right now, huh? You good, Skinwalker? Space cowboy researcher and headless Viking at your service. Oh, no. <laughs> Otto. Otto, I'm so sorry. <sighs> it's always such a damn shame, isn't it? Just want to hack their ancient terminal in peace, but no. It's sacred. It's our customs. I'm not going to be the one to tell Otto that he can't do it. I also can't have a notice Skinwalker is in combat. Skinwalker, you got What the fuck? <laughs> Starlight, when you're done having your lunch, uh, there's a gorilla trying to kill Skinwalker. Uh, Starlight? Thank you. For God's sake, gun it down. Look after one prisoner in exchange for a recruit. Are you any good? Uh, not really. All right, you know what? It, it's just someone who can clean or your whole things. Join me. We've only got to hold them for 15 days, realistically, so it's not a, it's not a big deal. I will be the first to admit that it's not really the nicest of prisons. <gasps> did you just do what I think you did? A celestial. I wasn't even going to bother. So, so I, I've just went through all the wild men and started taming a few of them. So Biddy, for example, even though she's not tamed, is apparently just happy to wander around in our fucking base, which is a different conversation. Eulogia. What an incredible name for a celestial. Hang on a minute. She is immortal. She's also got 10 intellectuals. So we'll make, oh, the immortal researcher. I kind of prefer that to the other person. She's also a good backup cook as well. She is also a world worry psychopath and capable of violent, but that's kind of water under the bridge. We can overlook one or two things when you are immortal. How did she die? Oh, Joris. <laughs> Joris kicked dirt in her eyes and then ate her legs. That's incredible. I guess we could put all the wild men in a dirty room. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Oh, and you also can't convert non-wild humans. Well, you can convert them with the regular prison dialogue with a warden, but not with a power. Damn. Ah, this looks like a job for Otto and no one else. Because they're all shit. Starlight hasn't got any armor, so the only thing she's good at is now, well, dying. Skinwalker's a fucking research cowboy. And Poopy's off to the zoo. So once again, it's down to Otto to save the day. That wasn't me gagging at the thought of <laughs> sending anyone else. I've got hiccups. I thought they said this site was nearby. I think we've got different definitions, friend. Oh. It does help if you accept it. Ah, oh, that is that is fairly nearby. Yeah, I'll agree with you on that one. This is why Otto is Jilp. This is why he got the promotion. Okay, Otto, you know the drill. Quick in and out job. Hello? Ah, 
You've discovered an ancient terminal. Who could have possibly predicted that? It makes it sound like I don't like these missions. I do like these missions. I think they're a cool feature and a, a nice addition to the game. But I just wish we had someone else who wasn't shit. Now, let's try and guess. Do you think the room with the green glowing terminal is this room here or the room with the green glowing wall? I think I'm going to try this one first, but I, I might be wrong. Ah, oh, mechanoids. Okay, hang on. Let's, uh, let's back off a second, Otto, because... Uh, you need to rear equip your shotgun there, friend. I don't know why out of every series we've done, the one closest to vanilla is the one driving me the most insane. Hacker voice. I'm in. You're right. Well, I guess we'll... <laughs> I guess we'll get the elephant and go home. And either I'm going mad or something is broken and we're not... Yeah, look, we're not getting events anymore. What happened? Oh. Randy happened. When did Randy happen? Who did... Randy happened. Sorry, where the fuck did you come from? Should we just like, should we just do this? Should we just do it right now? We've, I mean, I mean sure, it would leave the base under the, the protection of Lanath, i.e. no protection. Panic attack, what the hell is that? Oh, because of the Trey Anxious, got it. Can we just send one person or do we have to, required for? In that case, let's just send you as... One of the four people leave behind Starlight. God, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of that. I really wish we should be leaving behind Otto, but you know, with Otto, it just means we can get this done as fast as possible. Where are they traveling to? Every time we've done it before, it's been up in the Arctic. Oh, we're over here. Okay, so we haven't got to worry about any sort of terrain problems. We have also sent our warden. So if we could do this quickly. Oh, no, you're not unequipping your shotgun, Otto. All right, just send him in there. Solo it. Uh, the rest of you, back in the ship. Okay, now these ones tend to be a little bit tougher, right? Or all the ones we've done in the... Oh, shit. Hello. Uh, maybe just start blasting? And is that carpet in this room? It is, green carpet. Okay, then also, we need to do this bloody fast, if that's okay. There's one. Go, hack away. Ah! Well, now we go through to here. This is okay, this is okay. Otto's also our builder. So worst case scenario, we can just open up the walls. I really should have got that crate before everything caught fire, but that's all right. Let's hope our last terminal is in here. Because, uh, oh no. Oh, it is. Okay, we're good. And a raid. Uh, just take the, take the wall off and run. Easy. No one will ever know we were here. <laughs> I would have liked to have cracked open the ancient crypto sleep caskets, but to be honest, I think this is fine. And if I'm not mistaken, with that complete now, that means we only need one more quest. There we go. We only need one more to be able to get yet another relic. The opportunity I've been waiting for to get some new colonists. A raid. Oh, shit. <laughs> wow, that is... That's an overwhelming amount of insects. <laughs> I think even Fully Automatic himself would struggle with that. Okay, this area. We'll put a big red cross through this. This is off limits. Then the best part is when we get an actual raid, they'll probably spawn in on the other side of the insects and get wiped out before we can recruit anyone. <sighs> I'm sorry, Sliceran. You could end up being colonist number six. And you can't argue with the science. Every new base has only ever had five people. So it must be cursed. Oh my God, it's happened. I mean, they've immediately taken their clothes off. Skinwalker asked Sliceran to join... Slicerun has accepted. I'm well aware it doesn't actually say Slicerun. It's Silcerun, but it doesn't sound nearly as cool. As a moth. Where the fuck did that moth come from? <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me, I do have to take the necessary precautions for a sixth colonist. Yep. That'll probably do the trick. Thank you, Otto. Now, we're going to start getting back up on our feet. I'm going to give everybody the work attire, backpacks, and jumpsuits. Our researchers are currently working on recon armor, eventually marine armor. Then we'll go back to bionics. After that... Um... <laughs> After that, we'll become unstoppable once again. All we have to do is to survive up to that point. And given that we've got uh, hundreds of insects right on our doorstep, I'm not overly confident, I will admit. <gasps> Fresh recruits. We could fight them. Or we could big brain this and try and take out two birds with one stone. Ah... Uh... Line up here. I've got an idea. What's the chance of this working? Uh, I think almost non-existent. Luckily, they're deciding to dig through the kill box, which is very helpful, except for that guy who's being a dick. Oh, God. No pressure, Poopy. Okay, okay, okay. That'll do it. That'll do it. Do not run and gun. Poopy might go down here because she has a peg leg and armor, but... Oh, ho, 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 ho. 
Could it work? Could it work? Could it work? Give him another, give him another hit. Give him another taste. Give him another, give him another taste. Poopy, poopy, poopy. Nice, no, 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 no. Get out of there, get out of there, get out of there. Fucking run, fucking run, fucking run. Poopy, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but it's worked. Poopy! Queen of the insects! Ho oh, ho! Yes, yes, yes! He's done it! That should bait the rest over. There's not that many. Bear in mind, the rest of these guys are, are the kind of hive guardians, so these ones don't actually bait out like the other ones do. I think we've done it. I think Paul Morris is on the receiving end of it, but that went okay. How's Poopy doing? Bleeding out in eight hours. Also, her armor broke, which probably explains why she's bleeding out in eight hours. Uh, yeah, you know what? That works fine. Granted, we've now got to deal with insects, which are arguably harder. Can you... Can you fuck off, though? Okay, the Vikings are flaying. Now the question is, can we deal with this amount of insects? I think we should be fine, given that a lot of them have already been peppered. I think the real problem is doing it before Poopy dies. So when they start moving through the kill box, we'll send Lanath around the outside, grab Poopy, or, or maybe just tend to Poopy without medicine. Pick her up later. Okay, okay, okay. Here they come. Here they come. Then we can use this advantage to push forward with Otto and take out the main hive. No. They're turning around. Why are they turning around? No, 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 no! My plan! Skinwalker, blast him. Come on, come on. Come on, all we need is one hit. Yes! That'll do it, that'll do it, that'll do it. Okay, come back, come back, come back. Nice! Okay, okay, that'll work, that'll work. Don't worry, take all the bugs in there. Uh, Mega Scarab, I'm gonna have to ask you to fuck off so I can rescue Poopy. Oh, it's... It's, it's beautiful. It's artwork. Okay, get in there. Tend, poopy, fast. Skinwalker goes back up. Oh! You're not supposed to be smashing up my water! God damn smart insects. Oh. Silsaran is having a panic attack. I mean, honestly, as far as responses to hive of death insects, I think that's reasonable. Elephant calf one is down. Morris, you're next on my to-do list. Uh, okay, you know what? Let's go for go for Morris now, Lana. So I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. I mean, they've already smashed up the water grid. Ah, <sighs> Morris is gone. Okay. You're not dying, though, Poopy. Not today. In terms of Vikings who survived, none are particularly good. We've only got a few, and the ones who have survived are also in pieces. Poopy's fine. Poopy's okay. We lost Morris. We lost Elephant Calf 1. Something just exploded, but... I won't question it. And now to finish the job, we're sending an Otto single-handedly. Well, I mean... It's never single-handedly with Otto. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, maybe this is too much room in Otto in hindsight. Fuck. Uh, okay, uh, Starlight. Starlight. Precious, precious Starlight. I don't give a fuck about what Lanath wants. Get out here. He's outrun the Megapedes. If we can separate them from the rest of the other insects, he can kill the other insects first. Then we can only deal with the Megapedes in the... Oh, God, in the kill box. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Just keep baiting them over. Slowly but surely. Here they come. Here they come. He's done it. Oh. Okay. Wow. To be honest, I was planning on ignoring that hive entirely. But this does the job. Now we'll get in there and take out the hives before they reproduce. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. I think she's pissed off. Otto. Maybe... Start blasting? No? No? It's okay. I'll give you a hand there. Don't worry. Oh, what a guy. Biddy. Biddy, calm down. I mean, that'll probably do it. <laughs> Warden Skinwalker doesn't piss around. Oh, my God. Well, good luck trying to save them. Yeah, Biddy has died, caused blood loss. Who could have possibly predicted that? Well, I'm a little ashamed to say that today we didn't actually knock anything out of the park. We didn't achieve any big grand goal. Sure, we completed fabrication, machining, advanced fabrication. We started the research into marine armors and bionics. We've got potentially limitless resources with grand penetrating scanners and some really good researchers. And we also knocked out four out of five of the Archotech quest, giving all of our rituals, I assume, a stacking plus six. So sure, we didn't achieve anything massive specifically. We didn't... Uh... Helmson? Oh, hello. How very convenient that we freed up a slot in our prison. And how could I forget to mention that we may have two celestial colonists. 
And that, I think, is pretty massive. How do you get around the curse of consistently dying additional members of the colony? Make them immortal. Yeah, I think that'll probably do it. Thank you all for watching. A little bit of RimWorld. Tomorrow will be the big cash in episode. We get artifacts, we get bionics, we get power armor. And maybe once again, Starlight the Merciless will be remembered as Starlight the Merciless rather than just right now, Starlight the Gardener. And the biggest thanks of all go to the real gardeners growing a garden of love deep in my heart. The patrons. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, these segues need some work. Thank you to Feral Housecat, T hyphen Rexel, Scorchio. 82, Athom, Out of All Context, Mellow, DQ, Hottie Sphinx, Angry Welder, Other Guy 39, Barnekin's Milk, Rathew, Silent Sentinel, Dreamer, Night Witch, and Poseidon and Cian for their support, the executive producer tiers over at Patreon. Thank you for making the channel a possibility. Thank you as well to Jexel, Jordan, Astros Fan12345, Blackman00, to Snarf, Cody Cope, Aragon Awesome, God King Supreme, Dodger, Garnuba, Amanda, Lazy Panda, Zesty, Jarmstone, and Pumbly.